Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Diamond Painting and Stitching with Laura. And today I'm working on the beaded tiger cross stitch that I got from, oh my goodness, it's been so long, from Matryoshka Lovely. And I hadn't worked on this in a while, so I thought I would just work on it for a while. I know, that really made a lot of sense, didn't it? So how's everybody doing? What's everybody working on? Hope everybody's got a project, whether it's going to be a Christmas present or or anything like that, or just doing it for your own good. I always like to hear about the projects everybody's working on and trying to get done. i got to move my scissors. I keep hitting them over here. I thought I'd start on this side because... All I have over there is that, that blue, and this is number one, and I have no idea what actual DMC color it is. It's a brown, well, kind of a greenish brown, if you will, but uh, I haven't worked on it for a while. I finished the diamond painting, so I start, pulled out um, Hope Runs Deep. And I got a little bit of it done last night. And, oh, I want to show you. Um, I was working on, I'll have to do another whip and chat with it. Um, but uh, the uh, poppy, let me show you what I got done on it. Hang on just a second. So I got pretty far. I don't know. I guess, whoops, that's upside down. Sorry, my bad. So I'm on to the third color. I just do one color at a time. So let me see if I can get it all in there. You know how it, it's like backwards? So yeah, I'm on to the third color. So yeah, it's, it's coming along a little bit at a time. I'm really liking it. And it the beads look real consistent, I mean, compared to what I was working with on that great big huge thing. But I like that, and it's small. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it if and when I ever finish it, but it's something I can do in my hand, and I take one color at a time over there. And I've been watching um, Call the Midwives, and I know those people, so, I mean, I don't have to keep real good track of it. So, and I've seen that series, oh, well, it's probably about the third, possibly fourth time I've watched it through. But, uh, I like it. I haven't used this thing in a while, and there, it needs to be dusted. For some reason. I don't know how it could collect so much crap, maybe I could just vacuum it. So, if you see little hairs, they're probably Molly's, because she jumps up and down. The, there's a coffee table there that I set this thing on. So it won't fall off my uh, big chair, or not big chair, off of my uh, table that I have all the diamond paintings in. So I just use that. Not much going on around here. The weather has just been absolutely gorgeous. It's like in the mid to high 50s which is cool and uh, Molly she likes to sit out on the porch <sighs> we finally got the water or snow all melted off out there so she can sit on the porch and watch everybody go by except the problem is about the time the kids get ready to come home from school they have to walk right past my house so she goes into a barking fit or if somebody goes through there or somebody else's dog goes through there she's yapping but otherwise she'll just sit there and just look out the, the on the little stoop and watch the world go by I went uh, today with my daughter to uh, I almost said Domino's Jeez, went to Walmart she had to pick up a few things, and I just went along for the ride. My granddaughter and my son, grandson are in school, so we thought we'd 
go because, oh God, the last time it was like a free-for-all. Just an absolute free-for-all with the kids. So we thought we'd just skip that whole episode again because neither one of us could handle it this week. Other than that, not much going on on the job front. Haven't heard from anybody. Um, kind of out of places to go and look. Unless I'm going to go out of town to go to work. And that doesn't appeal to me at all in the snow and the ice all winter long. So, I don't know. We'll just have to see what goes on. So, we'll see again. But other than that, I haven't been doing too much. I've been reading Black Hills by Nora Roberts. Still haven't finished it because I was busy watching Call the Midwives. And I just watch one right after another. I think there's four or five seasons. I'm not real sure of that. But... Uh, can't tell if that's supposed to be there or not. There's like a loop there. A hole. Not a loop loop, but a, a hole. I don't know. It's bizarre. So we'll just keep on moving. Hopefully I'm doing these all in the right direction. I've been doing the others in the opposite direction. So it takes a little bit if you pick something else up. But... Uh, yeah, I like this. And it's it's not going fast. None of this shit ever goes fast. I came real close to pulling out that big counter cross stitch, the one with the that had the teal background. I love that. I just absolutely love it, but my god, it is a pain. And I don't want to have to do it on um on the scroll, but I don't know, it might come to that. I did finally get so I can go up and down. As long as I'm not attaching a bead, I can go up and down, but this I just go up and, and then pull it from the bottom, etc. But I can do the other two handed. But, uh, I don't know. Just. Kind of wishy-washy this week. I'm just, I don't know. I wish things would turn around, and it's not turning around as fast as I need it to, and it's just irritating. Just irritating. So... Other than that, not a whole heck of a lot going on. Oh, and yesterday I would have done a, a video, but the internet decided it was going to be off for about six hours plus. Because I went into town, ran a few errands, and came back and didn't have internet until about six o'clock at night. So I got home about 12 somewhere around there and so I had a very boring day I'd take a two and a half hour nap because I was so bored but I, I still went to bed about midnight which for me that's pretty good if I get that nap in earlier way early then I'm fine but between like say 2.30 and 5 Oh, it just messes with me. Totally. But, uh, let's see. Who did I watch? I was looking for, I know, like I need something else out. But, you know, when I have empty containers, it's kind of like having money in your pocket. you got to do something with it. So, I pulled out another diamond painting. This is the one that I got from um, AliExpress and 
it is the one of the Chinese warrior woman that um, is riding on a dragon. And I went to look it up because I didn't know what store I'd gotten it from. And trust me, I can't even pronounce the name of the store. But consequently, that diamond painting is now no longer in stock. So, and I looked and I got it back in February. So that'll tell you something. But I hadn't wanted to do it, so I can show you a picture, but I can't, you can't purchase it anymore. And you might be able to get it, you know, now at uh, Amazon. Whoops, hang on, I'm about to lose my thread. Oh, come on, dog hair. Jeez. Make sure I get the right thing. But hang on just a second. Let me put that there so I don't lose where it's at. Let me see. Whoa. Sorry. I'll be right back. Oh. I shoved it in the, um, the bag. The little thumbnail y type thing. Don't know if that's upside down, right side up. I'll just turn, keep turning it. But I thought it was really pretty. And it's kind of got muted colors, so to speak. I mean, there's nothing real bright and vivid. So, I just thought it was cool. So, we'll see how well that turns out. And it is a 40 by 50. So, I don't know how the details are going to go. And I worked on, I'll show you the picture because sometimes you, you just can't see it. This is what else I've been working on. It's this one. Whoa. And I got some of the sky done. Or, no, I guess those are trees. I'm sorry. My bad. Trees, no sky. This is one of those that just kind of floats. So I got all that done down into there. And then I got almost all of this in that one section right there. These are supposed to be open spaces. So there's just a few little bits that, that haven't been done there. So that's what I've been concentrating on. Whoops, hang on, i got to put my stuff away. I put all these in one of those, you know, those little plastic um, things you put in your drawer to keep silverware straight? Hi, baby. Yeah, I just dumped that right onto my table over here. So, yeah, it's special. Let's try not to add another. Hang on. I tightened that up. What? Oh, I'm like, what is going on over here? We're hooked up in the... The sanitizer was sitting right there. Get another thread before this one gets too short. Because it's kind of weird. But we got thread. I'm watching a lot of floss tube people. Oh God, it just does me no good. But at this point, no, I can't afford to do anything. But I really want to get a whole cloth pattern, if you will. See how that would go. Something you didn't have to change colors or maybe just had sporadic colors somewhere. But I do love the looks of them. But they're so intense. Not intense hard. Just intense that there's so much of it to do. And I would have to do it on either 11 or 14 count. I know that's probably not the way that's supposed to be. But, you know, hey. You know, for me, it is what it is. Because 
I can't deal with 18, 25, 40 something count. I just can't see it. And I'm not going to work with a magnifying glass for the whole thing, you know. So I don't know. I'm just kind of up in the air. But uh, we will see. So that's, whoops, sorry, didn't mean to hit it. Of course, I put it all the way to the other side of me, thinking, oh, no, you won't hit that. Oh, hell. Please, have you ever known me not to hit it? <sighs> Got all tangled up. But uh, I've been doing really well with that thread on that uh, poppy thing. It's almost got me wanting to pull out that um, oh, peacock one that I have with all the beautiful feathers. So we'll see. It's a little harder to read as far as seeing the different shades of colors in the peacock than it is in this one. And the, the pink one would be good because you can actually see it but when it gets so dark you can't distinguish what color is what so we will see I'm out of stuff here so just something for a few for you know future reference I'm glad that it's working out because I just I don't know. It was really hard on that great, that big pink flower. I don't know. It's been a while. With the glass beads and that real satiny material. So, I, I don't know. We'll have to get, love how it gets hooked around the edge. <coughs> we'll have to see. Future projects. And future thoughts, because right now it's just not possible. And I know the, the patterns that I want may be pretty spendy. I, I don't know. Just don't know. I mean, I haven't priced any. I haven't looked at them. But uh, I'd just like to do a whole cloth one. And if it was just strictly cross-stitch and not, you know, a whole bunch of different, you know, uh, what do you call them, stitches or something, I might be able to handle that. So, I mean, I'd have to really look at the pattern to see if it's what I think it is. I mean, of course, there's, there's just absolutely stunning crap that I know in my heart of hearts ain't ever going to happen. That, uh, oh, I don't have my thing here that one I was talking about in the last one it, it's just just huge but see on the other hand I really like those samplers I just love them and I want one that's fair size you know so I don't know thoughts just antsy I guess So, I guess I'm just, whoops, basically tired of staying at home. Who knows? I just need something to do. Not that I need something to do, because God knows I have all these crazy-ass projects left and right, but it's hard for me to sit still and do this. I'm used to working this stuff into my work schedule so it's a change of pace I'll give it that much <sighs> but I just keep floating from one to the next some days I want to stitch and other days I want to bead and I don't know just don't know Oh, jeez, I almost spilt it. Hey, but I didn't. It just went sliding and then got stuck under my hand. So. Heck. 
come on please so I don't have any other projects for this week I just unless something should come along so we will see we will see got a broken one there I don't have too many of them okay we got that part done go over here ah come here you but there's some awfully beautiful kits out there and that's just all I'm saying so I, I, mm, I'm my own worst enemy Just my own worst enemy. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be it for today. Push my needle back up there. That way I don't lose it. There we go. I love my little needle minder. He's so cute. Alright guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Y'all have a good rest of your day. God bless. Bye bye.